as somebody who studies the military industrial complex and some of the inner workings of the US government and enjoys it, sick I know. It always cracks me up when people who are super pro 2A are like, it's the last line of defense against a tyrannical government. Okay, we're just gonna skirt past that that's a dog whistle and scratch the very surface of why that's fucking stupid. The US has funded over 200 coups in other countries. We used whatever was at our disposal to find what political spectrum in another country benefited the US the most regardless of how it affected its own people and poured money and guns and whatever we wanted into it until it literally flipped the entire government system. So while all these people think that their house full of guns is gonna protect them from the most powerful military the world has ever seen, here's a list of some of the nations that the United States has either helped to overthrow or attempted to overthrow just since the end of World War II. So we're not talking about anything before that. All right, so we got China, Albania, East Germany, Iran, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Syria, Egypt, Indonesia, British Guyana, Iraq, North Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Ecuador, Congo, France, Brazil, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Bolivia, Indonesia, Ghana, Chile, Greece, Costa Rica, Bolivia, Australia, Angola, Zaire, Portugal, Jamaica, Seychelles, I don't even know what the that is, Chad, Grenada, South Yemen, Suriname, don't know what the that is, Fiji, Libya, Nicaragua, Panama, Bulgaria, Albania, again, Iraq, Afghanistan, Somalia, Yugoslavia, Ecuador, Afghanistan, again, Venezuela, Iraq, again, Haiti, Somalia, still, Honduras, Libya, Syria, Ukraine. <laughs> so if the United States isn't afraid of any of those governments, then they certainly aren't afraid of you. And you think they're worried about your piddly ass little arsenal? You're thinking in terms of guns. They're thinking in terms of bioweaponry. Your fantasy of overthrowing a tyrannical government only worked when everybody had muskets. So let's just talk about just arsenals, right? Again, you could literally have your whole basement full of machine guns, shotguns. You could have a bazooka, but at the end of the day, you're just one person. I mean, th that's it. So let's talk about the, the weaponry that the United States has, okay? They have helicopters, jets, they have heat-seeking missiles. They have bioweapons. They have ways of getting to you electronically. They can shut off all your access to, to all your finances. I mean, it, they can track you no matter where you are. They can look at me through this camera at the moment. It doesn't matter where you are or who you are. The government can reach you and they can take you out. Not only because they have better weapons, but they have tactical experience and people, young, able bodies who can just put together some type of mission to get you the hell out of here. It's like David and Goliath. No, it's like Ant and Magnifying Glass. If the government wanted to, they would. I mean, the gun culture in the United States really is extreme. We have a large enough group of people, you know, we're, let alone, let's not even talk about NRA and other gun manufacturers. We have a large enough group of people in this country who create a voting block, who believe that nothing should be done gun-wise. I mean, the Senate just came to a bipartisan agreement, okay, uh, raising the age limit to purchase semi-automatics from 18 to 21 off the table in the Senate. But they're, they're, they're cool with enhanced background checks for people up to 21. So after 21, nah, we don't need those enhanced background checks the same way. But no, the, the, the age limit, I mean, we can't even touch an age limit. Because people think that if we do anything at all, they're going to come take all our guns away. When the reality is, one, that's never going to happen because there's too much money involved and it's too ingrained in the culture. And two, they don't have to take all your guns away to come take you out, as we just discussed. So it really is amazing how extreme our gun culture in this country really is.